The very first show. The very first show of on, 2014 on, on 15mofc.com. 15 15. Oh, yeah. You got to applaud. Can we get an applause? You got to applause over there? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very first show. Today's show, we have the funeral for 2013. Yeah, because uh, there's a lot of shit that definitely need not to come back to 2014. It needs to stay there. <laughs> yes. So, you know, we got some, we got some good funeral music for you. Oh yeah. Yeah. When so, you hear that, you'll you'll know that we put a rest to it in 2013. First Very things first. Body. We're gonna get into the whole, it, fresh in 2013, brand new, cause I know I've never seen it before. What? Miley Cyrus twerking. Oh, definitely put it. <laughs> Yeah. Put Miley a Cyrus death twerking. to that. <laughs> Miley Cyrus twerking has got to be buried. No, twerking all around, period. No, not twerking all around. No, you know what it is? It got to get it gotta go because uh middle America maybe, white people got got Maybe the word so twerking they, needs to go, but twerking Nah twerking and booty bouncing and all other shit. That's two different categories. Twerking is something that white people from middle America participate in. Well see, nobody <laughs> as, as long as nobody, long as they, nobody, they do it on national television and it's like an American thing now that everybody got a hold of it. Now, like we need not to do it in the, the urban community. Nobody really booty Set bounces another. anymore, though. It's the same thing. Like I was the say, same thing. Like I would, I would watch a twerk team video uh -uh. all the time. Twerk team, uh -uh. twerk team. Not, I, would, I would rather watch a debate team. Not, yeah, I would, I would kind of, I would kind of watch, <laughs> rather watch a debate team. You rather it's, watch it's a debate? Got out of control. It's just got out of control. No, man. no, no, no. We're gonna pretend. You're not in a relationship right no, now. No, 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 no. I'm not in a relationship. No, 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 no. We're gonna pretend you're no, no. not in a relationship right now. No, you'd no, rather no. you'd no. rather watch a uh, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Because what ghetto Barbie does is great. What ghetto Barbie. what, ghetto, what <laughs> twerk team does ghetto is Barbie. great. <laughs> Shout out to Ghetto Barbie. Now, like the twerk team, I think the best video I seen them do was the joint that they did to um Jay-Z um what was it? Jay-Z Big Sean and Kanye. The one they did the click? Yeah, yeah, I got that one on my computer. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the rocking. best one that they did. Never watched them. <laughs> never, never watched them. But dog, like, it's not. It's, it's, I'm aware of who they are, but I'm, I don't watch just, them. You just choose not to watch it. I just choose not to watch it. Well, I think I think they're great. I like to go and I, the honestly, I honestly will say, when it comes to the whole twerking thing, they were honestly the first ones I've seen really make like a. I'm just trying to figure out why this it. is a discussion. This is a funeral. Yeah. The, Miley dead. They, Miley, it's done. See, Miley see, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like we putting these asses in the casket, and Arson's still trying to sleep. With He's them. trying to. Arson's <laughs> trying to do a revival and shit. We're not putting twerk team in the casket. Miley no, Cyrus not the twerk, twerk team. Just the fact that it's Miley so. Miley Cyrus twerking. The amount of twerking. In two, in the amount of twerking. In 2014, I could get I could get past the fact that she has a midget who I might add is making a hell of a lot of money. Who, who, who. Miley Cyrus whoa, has a midget. Whoa. Uh, uh, First of all, a dwarf. Little person. A little person. Little person. We're starting off this year politically correct. There's no cursing, no n words, no uh. Look, niggas. Miley Cyrus <laughs> has. <laughs> Miley Cyrus has a a, a, a little person mm. on stage that that's on stage right now. Mind you, this chick is making a killing right now. She got a chick. It's a it's a girl midget. Her name is Wendy. She's uh, white. Uh, she's not black. So she she basically has a um. A bull that walks around with a. She has a little oh, midget. So she, has, <laughs> she has a little midget with with Madonna cones. She wears like the Madonna cones. This is why I don't watch TV. I don't know nothing about this shit, huh? Yeah, I saw it. I saw it <laughs> this is why I don't watch TV. But see, but, but, but see if, I, if if even if I did watch TV, mm -hmm. I think I would be upset to watch that. Yeah. Bow your heads. Oh. For this wayward brother. Ooh, a couple of weeks ago. What, DMX died? He traveled down the wrong path. Autista. He went down this path to glory, but he made a wrong turn at the intersection of I got knocked on my ass and I got my ass beat Boulevard. 2013, we say a tearful goodbye to Adrian Broner's popularity. <laughs> <laughs> Adrian Broner, the problem. He wasn't that popular. Me and my boys, like... Me and my people communicate. He wasn't all that popular. Yeah, I mean, it was just he. He was trying to be Floyd Mayweather too much. Yeah, you was little homie. Be your own person. Stop coming to the ring.
doing all that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Boom, brush boom, my boom. head, brush my head. Like, come on, bro. Just come in there, knock a nigga out, and walk out. Do like how Mike Tyson does. Now, like, I must commend ring, him. You talk all this shit after you knock a nigga out. I must commend him for being one of the youngest, if not the youngest person to ever hold the, uh, whatever belt it was that he had, whatever weight division it is. I think one Mike Tyson younger than him? Mike Tyson was the youngest world heavyweight champion. Oh, okay. Mm. I like how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's dope. dope. But yeah, um, so I do commend him for that. But this this is like his po- his popularity is going to go downhill. Let's come back to taking this. that beating. He got to knock everybody come, the fuck out. Unless he comes back and knocks dude out. And I mean knocks dude out in like the early rounds. Because if you ever notice, all the boxers that took an L, that next fight, they came out and the fight was over five rounds or less. That's because they're trying to show off. You know, the longer the fight draws on, the more money they get. Yeah, but these, these, these like, all right, Roy Jones yeah, lost. To, Roy, Roy Jones. I didn't even know that. Roy yeah, that's Jones what the, what the lost to. The, Roy the Jones lost to a dude. Mm-hmm. They tell you, they say you take it to like at least to the sixth round or something. Well, it's only six rounds now. Well, so try to take it like to the fourth round or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Roy Jones got beat by a dude because he uh he got disqualified. This is this is prior to Roy Jones getting getting his nuts put in his socks three times consecutively in a fight. Yeah, he got knocked the fuck out. But anyway, um, Roy Jones lost to a dude and came back and knocked dude out in like the first 45 seconds of the first round. Yeah, because it's not about the money at that point. It's about your, it's about your, uh, your name and your popularity and shit. That's how it's good. Yeah, so. But if you're going to say rest in peace to fighters, Anderson Silva, rest in peace to that No, rest in peace to his leg, yo. Uh, rest in peace to his career. First, first that, that dude knocked him out. I ain't never seen Anderson Silva get knocked out. Right. He got pit out, lost the belt because he stuck his chin out. Trying to fucking showboat. Knocked out. Then he came back, tried to hit him with a low kick. Dude, man, picked the shin up. He broke his. Ah, oh, my leg! Sound like a <laughs> what, that Mortal Kombat 4. <laughs> the, yo, fuck, the fucked up shit was, he didn't even know it was broke because he came down on it. Then he was like, oh. I, I, injury. That, that's that, crazy. That, it, it's, not, it's not funny, but it's funny. That's sad. I don't give a fuck. Drink your milk. <laughs> Seriously, milk doesn't body good. Drink your milk, damn it. You and never so, miss leg day. For real, yo, my brother, my 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 brother, my brother, that's the bodybuilder mm-hmm. type dude. He'll tell you he had this picture. Friends never let friends miss leg day. Dude's upper body was big as hell, legs skinny and shit. Like a strong <laughs> ass. He looked like Big Bird. You ever yeah. see how Big Bird's legs is like small yeah, as hell? You bottom? your brother ain't watch him. No, my brother. My now brother. he showed him a picture of the other guy. Yo, that's my sick. brother, it's a picture of a dude. Yeah, I know. In the gym. Yeah, yeah, I'm too. Too. So, Miss EVG the Rebel, uh, what do you think that's something that should die in 2013 and don't come to 2014? If you have to choose um, one turn thing. Up. Turn up? Yeah. Can we, turn get up some, should die. can we get some slow, sad music for turn up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right about now. Y'all need to turn and sit down at the same time. Right about yeah. now. Second, oh. I need y'all to bow your heads. Oh, we're going to say, we're going to have a, a brief word. But turn up. Turn up needs to be buried. Turn up was a remarkable phrase. Yes, it was. <laughs> it showed feelings. Yeah. So why, why? What's your reasoning for um wanting to put turn just up? Cut my eulogy right? off, right? I'm sorry. I just feel like it was overused. It was. It was. Overused. It really was. Um, and I think people just started turning up for no reason. Like there's that. a time for the turn up. There's a time and place for everything. And right, there's a time and place for the turn up, but turn up was used for every single thing. And right, and then it started to become something where um, nobody was tuned in anymore. Everybody was just turned up. I just so. got a sixty on my math test. Turn up. All right, and right next to turn up, in in the sh- the shallow deep grave, right next to turn up, we are gonna bury the phrase. Turn down for what? Yeah, that go hand in hand. Yeah, please. We are going to bury it. Because there's so many reasons to turn down. There's turn so down for reasons. what? I'm going to tell you why you turn down. You got six kids. Turn down. And you're 22 years old. Oh, I, I know. Yes. I know somebody. No, turn off. Turn off. Yeah, there you go. And mute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definite turn off. <laughs> like if your child thinks two turn plus two off. equals chair, <laughs> turn down. <laughs> Open up a book. If you don't know yeah. the difference between the various spellings of there, mm. turn off. Turn down. Yeah, definitely down. down for that. Oh, look at your face. Turn, <laughs> turn very much up for reading and education, but turn down because you're not you're, you're, you're not spelling stuff right. I'm, I'm going to go 
gonna hop into that when when turn up goes wrong. That's oh, wow. oh my goodness. <laughs> you seen the picture I posted earlier with the uh the young lady passed out her own vomit. But the, with, the, oh, the, young yeah. la- but the young lady she needed and to vomit. be turned off. We are so back and we are here. We're gonna continue with this yeah, funeral. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm waiting for y'all. We're gonna continue with the services <laughs> now. Yes, the eulogy of 2013 and all this dumb shit that gotta quit. Oh, excuse me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. before before we go into that, quick. Yes. EVG, we're gonna play your joint the next break. We got you. Trust we got me. Got you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Yes, back to this uh, summer, right, summer and evening. Back. And don't mind my um my dead sweat sweater or whatever. Yeah, that's dead too. Like and we're back. Family this year. Yeah, we're yeah. back <laughs> with the funeral yes. of 2013. <laughs> and our leader of the services, Mr. Young King Arson. We got some slow somber music. You know what I'm gonna wait, 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 wait. Before you before you guys really go on. Like uh <laughs> you know what I'm gonna put a death to this year? What's and that? you guys are gonna love me for this. I'm gonna put a death to a love and hip hop. Love and hip hop, wow! Bow your heads. Whoa, whoa! Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of shows like Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, Love and Hip Hop New York, Love and Hip Hop. Bow your heads. I, I've, I think I've seen like probably one episode when this girl's like pouring salt around her bed to keep the sex demons out. Oh, um, Kim Michelle, wasn't that Kim Michelle? That's what happened. I don't know, but I know she was like she had salt poured around the bed. Bow your heads. For some sex demons. I was like, oh, I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> so much. Me and that. my, me and my beloved brothers. Yes, sir. We bow our heads today in the memory of love and hip hop, Atlanta, no, New no, no, York. No, 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 we need we need to keep Atlanta alive. New no, York we can... need to get we need to say a funeral for all of them <laughs> as a unit, as a production in the because, fucking staff. Tupac was saying, "Oh shit!" <laughs> because though we know Sister Mona Scott is a pimp, and she's pimping the hell out of everybody that works for the love and hip hop. I know all these hoes pimping the hell out of them. We all know, we all know, without a shadow of a doubt. Love and hip hop is fixed. Of course. You got Stevie J screwing Mimi. You got Stevie over J screwing Over and Jocelyn. over and over. You got Nico over. trying to be Stevie J. <laughs> K Michelle can't manage her hoo ha. <laughs> Joe Buttons is using drugs again. <laughs> so here he looks like Pinky with black hair. Shout out to that Dominican booty. Though. Peter Guns has set all light skinned people back 35 years. So today. On this first day of 2014, I don't watch the show. We say a tearful (laughs) and somber goodbye to love and hip hop. New York, Atlanta, (laughs) all around, and New York. But I like to say this, Miss Mona, the pimp Scott, you are. Miss Mona Scott, the pimp, you are rather. You shall make a reality show. If you would like to do love and hip hop unsigned. (laughs) <laughs> I will gladly find one of these Facebook hoes, make them my significant other, and we can together get this VH1 money together. Do it for the Vine or Mona do it for the Scott, VH1. Mona Scott, the pimp that you are. We should do that on for YouTube. How many how many girls out there? How many how many girls would like to take place in love and hip hop unsigned? unsigned yeah. I got a camera. We get the shit popping. We don't really have to be in relationships. We're just going to fake it. It's, the show is fake anyway. We're going to exactly. fake it. Yo, call in right now if you want to be call a Call in right call now. Call in right now if you would like a slight 201 views, 467 4673 mid 20s. Uh we're taking we're, we're, we're taking good credit. We're taking <laughs> casting members for our Love and Hip Hop. I'm about Love I'm, Hip Hop New Jersey. I'm going to make it easy for you. I'm about to post it on Facebook. Love and Hip Hop unsigned. God damn it. You can be the next reality star. You could be the next K Michelle. Bitches love K Michelle. You could be the next Mama D. But in 2013, we just like to say that Mona Scott Young left loving hip hop for dead. She left it for dead. She left it for dead. <laughs> hey. I'm mad you, know, you put the Mama D on that. Probably done lost the views for that shit. <laughs> How dare he? I don't watch TV, so. And I have nothing on, personal to say, you get it? I, have no, I shouldn't say I have nothing. I don't have anything specific to say bad about that show. I just don't watch it. And when I'm scrolling down my timeline every Monday, I see the same shit. Oh, all oh, niggas ain't shit. Fucking Peter Guns. I'm like, I don't know Peter Guns, and you don't know me. So don't fucking compare me to that motherfucker. All right? Kill that shit, too. I didn't even know Peter Guns. I, I will say, reality shows will reemerge you to audiences because I smooth did not know Peter the Guns was still around. I'm mad. As soon as we, as soon as we started talking about love and hip hop, New York, the viewers just start going up. 
Well, Love and hip hop. Love and hip hop. Love and hip hop. We need you for our views as Love well. Love and hip hop. New York is a beautiful show. Yeah, we love it very so much. I, I like to say, you, my good sir. Just like to say, it's a beautiful show. Hopefully, we can resurrect it sometime in 2014. Oh, sorry, sure. I, I hope that we can really do this. Love and hip hop unsigned. Love and hip hop unsigned. You're in a relationship. We need to make our own shit called Ratchet yeah. and Facebook. <laughs> ratchet and Facebook. Unsigned. Gee, you know how many people we would have to pay for their ratchet and. I'm not paying nobody shit. I know motherfuckers that do shit for free. I've seen motherfuckers do more for free. If you know what I mean. Yo. <laughs> I was gonna say I smell pineapples. Yeah, this really guy's drinking a pineapple. Oh, yeah, I can't show it. Yeah. Just one of these. He's drinking a pineapple smoothie. Oh, oh that needed to die two years I, ago. Our boy, <laughs> our, this shit should die from this. Leather Glove reception. Dave just said. Leather women. Glove. I thought it was leather here. Leather hand, Women switching, you switch hitting. You switching sides playing more for the than wrong team. Not, not even playing for the wrong team. You saying that you, all right, I'm about to break it down to you exactly how it'll go. Yo, this is how it starts. I'm about to break it down from its inception till its end. A chick will be, uh, let's say promiscuous as hell. She goes around, sleep with all these fucking dudes. Bye bye, banging out this nigga, this nigga, this nigga, this nigga. You know, like I know. Uh, then all of a sudden, nobody want to wife her in cuffing season. They go and hook up with a, a chick with an AG or some shit like that. Who will take care and take care of because... They really do that? Yeah, I'm telling y'all seen this on more than one occasion. More than 10 occasions I've seen this sad, shit. Sad. Hook up with the chick or whatever. Shit don't work out. Then they come and hook up with another nigga. And, and the nigga that they hook up with, he has no, no sense goal. of history. No, no, he has no sense of her history. So... And then on top of that, he's probably like a fucking ex-con or some shit. So he's crazy. <laughs> so ain't nobody gonna tell him about so she love So she loves him extra hard anyway. Mm-hmm. Nice. So that's like, all oh, me and my... And then he'll fuck around and get locked up again. And then she goes back to hoeing and shit. And then, because I've, I've literally seen on a social, <laughs> a social media, like, I was like, yo, what happened to your girlfriend that you was... Well, I thought you was gay. Why you fucking with dudes again? Oh, because that bitch did me wrong. So you just... But you, if you want to commit to that fucking lifestyle, if you want to say this is what you are and throw up the rainbow flags on your, on your statuses and those pictures with the two bitches to be hugging and all and kissing, tossing bitches, is, is, they, they love me more than me because a woman knows what a woman wants and all this other shit. Don't flip back to this shit because you're a fucking contradiction. When I see you, I'm smacking your fucking face. Yeah, we face. lost two viewers. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, now, i just like to say... If you're bisexual, be bisexual. Be who you are. But be one with yourself. My whole thing so is be one with me. My whole <laughs> thing is Monday don't talk about niggas ain't shit. Tuesday don't talk about you in love. Wednesday don't know your status. Thursday niggas ain't shit. Friday you gay. That sounds like a Mary J. Blige song. That's exactly it. Monday <laughs> you date a dude. Tuesday <laughs> you <laughs> act in <laughs> <and> rude. <laughs> With love, yeah. so fucking all nigga, fuck all Wednesday, niggas. you have a gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad y'all really you made really a song. Make, out you of got it. to, you know. And but yo, if you're, soon, gonna, gonna if, you, if you're gonna do that, do that, and and do it discreetly. Don't do that shit and run the social media with all this shit. Cause the chick that you fuck with take you out. She take you out. To, uh, what 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 bitches? Uh, Red Lobster. Uh, two for twenty at Applebee's. And goddamn it. <laughs> You better if be you, happy that I took you somewhere else besides me. If you gay, nah, you're gay. I, yo, I'll take, what, I'll take a chick out. Do me a like, favor. Gay girls, bisexual girls, whatever it is, do not. Please stop, stop this shit. And I'm glad the funeral music is still playing. Please do not call your girlfriend who's still a girl, no matter what. Do not disrespect your father and another man by calling this bitch daddy. She's not a dude. She's not a dude. Don't call her daddy. Nick. My daddy this, my daddy that. No. Don't do it. Because if you post a picture, if you post a picture of your daddy and it's a girl with dreads, I'm putting you in a STF. <laughs> this, this is the shit that I need to fucking say. In 2014, the first day of a new year is the first page of a new book, a 365 page book. Niggas, you nigga, reclaim your fucking balls, son. I'm tired of these silk booty ass niggas out here letting these women run all over them. Not saying that you got to run all over them, but act like a fucking man. Stop wearing these long-ass T-shirts that look like a fucking dress. Y'all out here dressing like motherfucking gangsta delicious and shit. This shit is coming gangsta to fruition. Delicious. This shit coming to fruition, yo. Long-ass T-shirts, fucking rappers dressing in fucking leather jogging pants and leggings and shit. Cut yo. leather pants out. 
Dave, Dave, turn <laughs> your music back on. <laughs> nah, but like, yo, I'm tired of y'all niggas, man. I got to defend myself on a daily fucking basis just because I'm light skinned. Niggas like, hey, oh, you light? Yeah, man, just because I'm fucking light skinned, you, you associate me with these niggas and shit, man. Y'all sitting here, niggas on fucking social media, I feel like cuddling. Fuck out of here, nigga. Fuck out of here. <laughs> I feel like cuddling. Yo, I, yo, uh, rain, uh, rainy day, I wish I had somebody to cuddle with. Damn, me. King, you, you, you just turned it up. Nah, I just got upset. <laughs> That's what happened. Nah, niggas just want to cuddle and shit. Yo, I'm tired. Yo, yo, I'm getting chill. tired. Of, I'm I getting got, and, like the shit is. I'm getting when, tired of every time it drizzle, somebody post post this that cuddling weather. Yeah. No, bitch, this that get off of Facebook and go to work weather. That, that's what it is. Go. Yo, the fucking um, damn, I don't forgot. What, what's the um? Remember on Married with Children? It was like Al and all his friends. No man. But no, we need to bring back no man. The National Organization of Men Against Amazonian Masterhood. <laughs> Damn. You y'all gotta, y'all yo, watch that show too. I love man. Married with Children, bro. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, shit. Grandmaster B. Grandmaster <laughs> KG in the motherfucking house. Yo, it's... <laughs> nah, but for real, though, seriously, though. Um... Dudes spend more time in the fucking sh- in, the, in the bathroom in the mirrors taking selfies. Like, yo, if I see another nigga yo, that take a that selfie like just... this, you a grown ass man. Why are you holding the camera phone like this? Yo, put that shit on the timer. Step <laughs> back, be like, you sitting there showing that shit, biting your fucking bottom lip. These moist ass androgynous ass motherfuckers getting <laughs> sick. Son. Boy George ass niggas. Exactly. Fucking hit the music. Ass, purify yourself in the hit waters the of Lake Minnetonka ass motherfucker. Yo. yo. What I like to have right now is for niggas all you man. skinny, Out no shape. muscle having, leather pants wearing. I got a bunch of lips and music signs and tattoos on my chest and nipples and shit. I like to have right now is for all of you to bow your heads as I say a nice prayer for the regaining of your testicles. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, wait, wait. I got it. This series, right? Bye, head. <laughs> he said this is serious. Lord, Lord, we come to you today mm. on this so some somber moment. Lord, what I like to do is I like to pray for these young Negroes. Yes. Who are dying their hairs more than cheap, more than chicks are. Honey blind. You going, you going to <laughs> you going to Walgreens. And you go to the hair dye section. Is it Garnier fruit t shirts And you get some, you get some Clairol. And you hit your local party the next night. <laughs> and though the ladies may think you're cute, <laughs> you look a little sensitive. No, that's exactly how they look at you. So cute. what we gonna do <laughs> right now, in the name of the highest and most exalted, we're gonna put our hands in the air, and we're gonna reach Balls and in hope <laughs> that for Christmas you didn't get cold in your stocking, you didn't get lip gloss in your stocking either. You didn't, un- you didn't unwrap some feminine piece of clothing. You ain't got no douche when up your ass. When you went to bed on the 24th, you awoke oh, on the 25th, and you had balls in your pants. Balls in your pants. Imagine you singing about the balls in your pants. We hope you had balls in your pants. 2014. You know what it is. I want you niggas to nut up or shut up. <laughs> I'm going to say it again. Nut up or shut up. Yes, yes. Because you're making us look bad. Now, I want to cuddle. This is true. I want to cuddle sometimes, but I want to cuddle after cunnilingus. I want to cuddle coitus. after I get out of after I get out of coitus. After you do the hard I want to I want to cuddle after she make the really damn good. tacos like the bitch did in Baby Boy. Yeah, that's, that's the only time I want to cuddle. I don't want to cuddle because it's raining. Even then, I can't do that shit. I don't want to pay. I don't want to pay for no cab money for one of you nappy head bitches to come to my house. And mm. cuddle with me in eight inches of snow and expect me to pay for you to go back home. <laughs> no, no, no. 2014, it won't happen. Mm. It can't happen. This is a funeral. <laughs> I need somebody to say something in here in this house today. God damn it. Yo, honestly, though, seriously. I'm, I'm only it. talking this shit because I give a fuck. I care really about you. Heart. Yo, you little niggas, you know, these little niggas ain't got no fathers or something. No, they got mothers. fathers. They fathers is just 10 years older than them. That's the problem. It's <laughs> not even that, like, on some serious, like, I really don't fucking get it. And, like, the problem is, like, with everybody that's in here, which are unsigned artists besides myself, is all the people that are signed now, 
are leading these motherfucking these young men into fucking being androgynous and like not I mean homosexual activity oh, God, like damn. being motherfucking um um misogynistic know. towards women taking pills and shit all the fucking time and shit that's all the fuck the sign artists rap about that's what why mean? i gotta appreciate motherfuckers like y'all that spit that real shit and try to put out good genuine music that's not about papa molly's and swag and learn wearing leather pants and, and well, dresses and shit well, well thank you sir and i just like to i just like to touch on the point god damn it cheetah touch on the point Te- cheetah leopard print all of that shit is not for men Yo, it, it is not, yo, you can look up. that shit, please. It is not yeah. for men. You are wearing Peggy Bundy's yeah, y'all, clothes. Not for men. Y'all just ruined it for like about 15,000 niggas. Cheetah, in yo, cheetah print, That's leopard not print. hood, though. Like, you walk around, you got a fucking zebra stripes on your shoulders, Fuck leopard God. prints on your arms, fucking polka dots on your chest, and leather jogging pants on, and some pink fucking retros. Man, walk around, trousers, walk around man. looking like Shona for all the wrong reasons. <clears throat> Fuck out of here. Thank you. Show had on a Guido. He was cool. Show up had a Guido. It was Show the up. 80s. That was 30 years ago. But see, this is the thing. You niggas don't know karate. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know karate, you can't dress like that. <laughs> Even if, like the bitch. Anyway. Oh, we back. 15MOFE. Yeah. 15MOFE.com. <laughs> we are back, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today. Children of all ladies, time. we are back. Yes. What bitch were you talking about? With the funeral of 2013. <laughs> what would you like mm. for me to touch on now, mm. Brother King? Brother King. Don't touch on nothing around me. That's all I ask. <laughs> King, as you dance. Yeah. 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 Mm. Um. Yeah. Let's leather leather glove. Leather hands. What, what you going about? <laughs> leather glove. Yes, I know it's leather glove. I was taking a jab at this guy over here. <laughs> leather hands. Leather hands. <laughs> Couples that tattoo each other's name? No, 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 no. You we know can't, what? We, I, we can't. We can't kill those people. Nah, 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 no, no, no. That's gotta go because they break the fuck up, and then they be on Facebook or Instagram and Twitter like, who what, you know that do cover what about, what, what, I gotta get this motherfucking <laughs> name off. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, you know what it is? What about? I, got, the, what I do the, have a. I do have a lady's name tattoo. But that's your mom. That's my mom's girl. I got a lady's name Fuck out of here. You thought I was a sucker? Got out of here, nigga. I got my mother's name tattooed on me. Yeah. That's the it. only woman other than my grandmother that will ever get their name tattooed. I mean, you know what it is? If you want to get, like, tattoos to commemorate your love and shit, get matching symbols. Shit that only means something to you and her. Know what I mean? And some shit because that, some shit shit. that if y'all no, no, break I'm up, it means something to somebody else, too. Just to let you know, I don't think I'm above anybody or I don't fucking I try to talk about quiet anybody. I during this segment. Like, I have, if you probably can't mm-hmm. see it, but I have a puzzle piece. Me and the person I was dealing with at times where I got matching puzzle pieces, I got it. She never got it. So, now people ask me, oh, what's that puzzle piece? I'm like, because I'm the missing link, baby. I'm saying, you gotta get shit that you can just flip it and you can use that shit against. I'm like, I'm the missing link. It's a piece missing. Could you be that piece that completes me? Shit like that will get you so... Yo. Back to the funeral. You know the Can I get that about. slow? Slow, slow, sad music. Like I was saying, I met a Giants fan. Who else are you killing this year? I met a Giants killing fan. everybody. Yo, this stops 2013. <laughs> All it dead. This stops 2013. No longer goes forward than 2014. If you are going to support a team and you don't know their star players... Nah, it's bad they enough. know the star no, players. It's bad enough not knowing role players. This person that I met yeah, yesterday yeah. said they were a giant supporter and said, I'm a giant supporter and I keep hearing about Victor Cruz. Who is Victor Cruz? Oh, oh, the yeah. Salsa Man? Yeah. Kill him! <laughs> the Salsa Man? Wow. They didn't know who Victor Cruz who was? Is, who is Victor Cruz and you're I a giant supporter? I hate the Giants. And you're I a giant they, supporter. All the people they know is Eli Manning. They probably don't even know him. Don't know the hell <laughs> is. They probably think Eli Manning and Peyton Manning are the same person. <laughs> they didn't even know that they're brothers. Like they see Peyton, they see Peyton in the Dolphins uniform. Nah, the they set, know I who mean, Eli the, Manning the, is because like, I said the Dolphins in the in a Broncos uniform. That's about to call it there and curse you out. For they see Peyton. Peyton Manning. <laughs> X, X would never curse me out if Peyton Manning was in a Dolphins uh, uniform. Get ready for the phone to ring. X would, X would <laughs> commend me for putting Peyton Manning in a Bron- in a Dolphins uniform. You lost it. If Peyton Manning, if they saw Peyton Manning in a Broncos uniform, they would probably say, I thought he played for the Giants. But uh, enough. If you don't know, if you, you don't know. You got to say it for sports. You got to say it for 14 days. If you don't know your 14 role. 14 days. If you don't know your star that players. Your, that will be your sports tutorial. For if that. you don't yeah. know your you star know players nothing. on the team, stop repping the team. If, if you, you don't think, know the coach name, stop If you think team. Kobe plays for the Thunder and you think Kevin Durant plays for the Lakers, 
Stop I've never seen nobody make that. Everybody knows Kobe played for the Lakers. If you think a touchdown, <laughs> if you think a touchdown is scored in Yankee Stadium, please cut it the if fuck out. If you don't out. know how many points a touchdown is, if you think a touchdown is seven points, kill yourself. If you think Kobe Bryant kicked the field goal to win a Super Bowl, just stop it. They got an MLB ring and a Stanley Cup. <laughs> just stop it. Multiple shots to your body. Line them up. <laughs> Line them up. Put that. Uh, put that. Put that. That mask on. Light him a cigarette. Just light him up. <laughs> Line them up. All right. Shoot them down. Yes. Just get them. Line what else? What up? Hey, All right. I don't, know. I, I don't want to go off. I'm gonna let you lead the eulogy. Now just. You give me. The, you on. give me. The, you give me the. Uh, you give me the I'm death. I'll eulogize him. Every morning when I wake up, we. I see the same cashew. We woke up in the kitchen figuring how the hell did we get this? Or riding that surfboard, or I woke up like this. Everybody, like, like you're not Beyonce. Stop using her fucking Buy your captions. Heads. When not, did Beyonce's album come out? Three weeks Friday ago. Friday the 13th. Friday, Friday the 13th? 13th. Yeah. Three, three weeks ago, Beyonce's album came out. Three weeks later, we bow our heads in memory of what? Of drunken love. Hell no. Drunken love. Did you see the video? I saw the video no, and I heard fuck the song. You. No, I disagree. I've heard we the song. Alive. You're about to kick up a revival. Listen. No, it's not. Listen. Good. No, you we're can't about say. To, we're no, no, about no. You to cannot. Lose fan base over this shit. Hell, <laughs> fuck. No, I'm I, up for I, it. I, I, I'd, like no. to, I'd like to stress the point that if you stop watching it right now because of what I'm getting ready to say, you only did it because I know it. You know it's true. Drunken love is going to uh, increase the population of medium-sized ratchets giving birth to little ratchets. Nah. They are. Nah. Yes, they are. Nope. Every thought in Famous Lounge, Frosty or whoever That's it why is... why I don't go to the club now. Frosty or whoever it is can turn drunk and love out and be, this is Frosty, sing this shit, and every hoe in there. We woke up in the kitchen thinking, how the hell did we... Now, if every chick, girl if a chick, if a chick in there will be singing hey, that song. Walk up to I you guarantee... Start rubbing that one thing on your face, uh, sitting yeah, that shit in your face. You're you gonna run to that shit. No. If yeah. a chick starts singing Drunk in Love to me, I'm gonna ask her. First of all, I'm gonna ask her who right. she sung it to last week because she probably ain't sung that. it. Yes, I am. Get the fuck out, yo. Nah, nah, nah. When, hey. when that pussy in your face, you thinking about the here and now. You're not thinking about the past before you got the pussy. Afterwards, you got the pussy, you'll probably be like, mm, so if a I known if a known hoe walks up to not you, a known right, hoe, I'm talking about a complete stranger. No, if a known hoe, like a complete walk, stranger. Most of the people that are in clubs, you know about them already. Not I, said the cat. <laughs> yeah, because you don't go out, or you go out. I don't go out. You don't interact with these people. Uh, I hang by the have, have you have you seen his Facebook page? He interacts with them very yeah, he, well. He interacts with them and insults them in the same sentence. I don't. And, I don't insult and, them. But, I stay, but at least I stay, they like it. I don't know who did it, but I know everyone that got shot were shot multiple times. Yo, they got thirteen year old girl that all she was doing was taking out the garbage. They arrested the kid yesterday, and his reasoning behind the shooting was just like trying to impress some big homies. Nah, what it was was. The the kid that he killed, the the young man that he killed, mm -hmm. I think his name was, uh, they call him KB. He's like really really out there in the party world and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really out there in the party world and everything. Known for dancing. Um, he shot this young man because he felt disrespected because the young the the young guy said something, said something to his girlfriend or was flirting with his girlfriend or something Are like you that. Serious? Yeah. And it's just that's, like that's, at fifteen. At 15 years old, yeah, I was maybe considering, you know, considering a chick my girlfriend or dating a girl or whatever. But it, if it got to the point where there was some disrespect involved, we fought it out. Exactly. We I ain't scrapped. never fight over no girl. We, I, I mean, ain't goddamn sure I ain't never whether go it was to over, shoot no Whether it was over a girl or not, skin, so if there different. was any disrespect <laughs> nah, nah, like as that. a teenager... Mm. We That's scrapped it out. You know what it is? Because it's these older, yo, it's these older niggas. Like, yo, y'all got to set better example for these fucking kids. Not man. just the older niggas. No, the it's the older niggas, niggas that do this shit and the younger niggas that make it cool for them. They didn't get that motherfucking gun from another younger nigga. Yeah, exactly. They but got it from exactly. an older motherfucker that gave that shit to them. So. And I understand what you're saying, but think about a nigga like Chief Keef. Mm -hmm. Man, fuck Chief Keef, son. <laughs> Chief Forrest Bond, son. Think about a nigga like Chief Keef. How old is Chief Keef? 17, 18? That nigga been 19. 18 for three years. <laughs> How old is he now? Nah, he's 19. He's 19 he's now? He's 19 when now, When he came but... out, he was 16, right? 17. So 16, right, but yeah. about, right, but about selling drugs and guns and everything. He's from fucking Chicago, man. Well, he, he really that's, is from Chicago. Yo, but... not, fuck, yo. But it's right, like... That's, that's how Mouse I'm going to throw into the motherfucking casket. Once all right, all right. Wait, well, let's, let's, let, no. 
I want to put a I, I want to put this in the casket and put oh, it to rest. Oh, he's something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I'm like bur- a second burial. <laughs> way. Hold on. Dave, come get the funeral music. Yeah, because it's serious right now. Yeah, I want to put a re- put to rest blaming hip hop for the violence that's going on in the streets. We can we we have to stop blaming hip hop because it's not hip hop. Not just hip hop though. We gotta stop blaming video games and everything too. Yeah, yeah. Well, the video, no, bro, for real. The video, I've been playing video games all my life, son. We got to stop. I got the Mario Brothers. Uh, we have to stop blaming hip hop for Yo, every single problem that's going on in the hood. What we need to start blaming is the. How, how can I put this? Is the the, the, the fathers, the you mothers, and the fathers. The parents. You blame the upbringing. Yeah, you you, you got to blame the upbr- upbringing. That's and the it's it's, it's like it's like as as a community, we, we do not want to take responsibility. For the um for the things that's going on in our community, we want to blame hip hop yeah. every single time. Me, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm I'm all about like niggas trying to act tough and get knocked the fuck out, knock a nigga out. Like, know what I mean? Don't kill somebody, don't shoot somebody. Cause like yo, it's been a hundred, it's been a hundred homicides in, in Newark alone. Mm-hmm. And this Newark is alone for fucking. This is the first. This is that's the what, first time in how many years so. that it hit triple digits? Um, six years. First time in six years that. That homicides have hit triple. Yo, but that's one thing that that's one thing North. that's one that's that's like and the it's, main it's thing. It's actually sad because you think about that's one area mm-hmm. of New Jersey. So Fuck, if there's a not hun- even fact of one yo, area, that's hundred- one motherfucking section of North. The South Ward is a fucking jungle, you son. Hell yeah. And bitch it, be like, yo, bitch, be like, oh, you wanna come through this that third? I'm like, oh, you live. I live off of motherfucking Avon Avenue. Yo, yeah, you got a because you got a nigga waiting for me. Exactly. <laughs> so that, yo, like that reminds me of that. What you doing going of, to Shakita's house? Um, you ever seen? Was that like Shireen and shit? Like, <laughs> you ever seen? You ever seen that meme where got, it says it says chicks be like, "Don't worry about them niggas out front. They ain't gonna bother you." And it's like a hundred niggas standing yeah. outside. Yeah. <laughs> Those my brothers. <laughs> nah, fuck that. Yeah, hey, yo, but that's one one thing. That's the major thing that got a motherfucking going in 2013. Like yo, I don't. I know we up here. We crack jokes. We just talk about shit. What's on our mind was because we just we like. I mean, no more ass niggas. But the fact that I'm dead serious when I say like the violence, the uh, fucking excessive use of violence mm-hmm. and gun violence and the killings and shit. That shit gotta go, son. And like, if, if you gotta beef with a nigga, slug that shit out. That's how the fuck we did shit when we was coming up. Know what I mean, I ain't an old nigga, but I'm older than like. Know what I mean, I'm in my motherfucking mid. You older than these. You, you, you older, older than the niggas that's out here shooting people for yeah, no reason. Like that shit corny and as hell, cause you out here killing for no fucking reason. You thing, taking a person life. Oh, see, that's now like we your, got niggas knocking at the door now. Shit. The <laughs> thing, the thing about it is, not me. Yeah, but if like, you gonna throw, if you gonna throw hands, throw hands, throw hands, if you get knocked throw out, throw hands and take an ass whooping. Yo, if you throw hands and get knocked out, don't come back with a gun. Fourteen eight, yeah. oh, fourteen eight, in, in the, the building. building. Happy New Year, bro. All right, got a fucking twenty four pack. Got a motherfucking a bag. Oh, there, like a, there, there we go. There we go. Another, oh, it's an 18 pack. I'm sorry. Two 18 packs. Where's the, where's the cooler? It, 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 cooler it, ain't right, it ain't right until the cooler but, um, gets in. Now, back to the, back to the, the motion at hand, though. Like, all the violence got to stop, son. Because, like, yo, when I was coming up, we slugged shit out. Like, shit was barely getting fucking, like, niggas barely was getting killed when I was coming up. When I was a fucking teenager, like, in the early 2000s like, shit. Like, yo, when I was a kid, we would fight. Like, when I was a kid, a teenager, we fight and we'd be friends later yeah, on. Like, yo, it don't yeah, take, exactly. yo, son, it don't take no fucking strength. It don't take no fucking skill, and it don't make you tough to pick up a fucking gun and shoot a person, son. If you tough, slug that shit out. Like, know what I mean? Go into an alleyway, slug that shit out. Nah, that's that's how the fuck we did it. Like, yo, and then afterwards, we'd these, be cool as hell. I want to have a conversation with these cats who be like, you know, just shooting like people for like, you know, petty reasons, like because, some girl. Because I, I want to check them. Yeah, I want to check their mentality. Like, yo. no yo, fucking mentality. And this is the thing. Nah, don't even don't even bring up that because I know you about to bring up too that dude that was in the. Uh, Behind the glass wall, talking to the lady. I think he's going. No, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not even going to bring him up because he. I mean, he, he's he's done. <laughs> but the thing about it is, if you're gonna like, all right, there's 15 billion or more women in this world. Why are you putting your million. whole? Why are you yeah, putting you your know, whole idea. life stretched it out? In yeah, it's not 15. It's not even 15 billion people on this planet. Why are you? Why are you putting your whole life in jeopardy over a woman? Oh, you said something to my girl. You be being the same person that probably said something to nah, somebody else's you know girl. What it is? It's like, oh, you said something to my baby moms, but you don't take care of your kids. Take care of your fucking kids, you like, fucking Like, all right, 
You you willing to shoot? You willing to shoot me? You know me. what it is. You know what it is. You willing to shoot no, me because no, no. I said something to your nah, girlfriend, nah, nah, nah. Real, but real. you won't shoot yourself when your kid needs school clothes and you go and buy a whole bunch of clothes yo, for yo, yourself. Right, you if you don't like what the fuck I'm saying, change your fucking action. I ain't gonna say come see me because I'm not about that life. Whatever the fuck <laughs> that life is, I ain't about it. But like, so I'm gonna tell you about your fucking stuff because you ain't got no daddy. I'm your daddy now. Take care of your fucking kids, oh, man. son. No, man, no. You don't like what I'm saying? Prove me wrong. Don't come, don't come looking for me. Was, don't take, come shooting for me because that was an take, extra jab. Not on, yo, Shit. not only take care of your kids, but think about your kids before you make these decisions. Okay, you got the gun in your hand. You ready to kill this man over whatever words he said. But you think about your two-year-old, three-year-old, four-year-old, so on and so forth son and how their life would be without their father in their life because their father decided to go out and take another person's life. And your, and your daddy wasn't around. Your daddy wasn't around coming up, and you can't stand that nigga, but you not in your fucking child life. Especially if you got a daughter. Especially. You got to learn how to tell these females, like, yo, you got to change your standards. You can't settle for mm. s- settle for any other dude. Exactly. But see. Yo, you know, no, no, that's that's another thing that got to get buried. I don't want motherfucking chicks fucking with niggas that they, <laughs> that they know not good, and then fucking with all these different, the same caliber of niggas. And then, you know, you get knocked up, you got a baby father's out here running the streets, is consistently getting locked up. And then you write a fucking stat after you got like a kid or two, tell some, oh, I'm tired of street niggas. I'm about to get me a good man. Like, yo, don't fucking look for a good man now. Now, after you done <laughs> ran through all these street niggas. Like, yo, and not just step not, your fucking pussy game up. Not, not even just, that. not, not don't, even just don't that. Don't let, don't let niggas that you know not shit knock you up. I don't want to hear about, exactly. oh, this nigga. Not he only, lived with his motherfucking mother, blah, 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 my baby not father, not that. shit. Yo, you knew that nigga was sleeping on his mom's futon in the front room from, from the fucking rip. I'm not getting on, I'm not fucking. Not only I'm that. I'm not massaging, hold, hold I'm not massaging, I'm putting that shit out. I'm not massaging this at all. If you don't know what massaging this is, look it up. I'm not massaging this at all. I fucking talk on both sides of the fucking spectrum. Like, yo, we gotta fucking uplift ourselves as a fucking community. And I don't mean to get all motherfucking black power, throw my dashiki on with the after <laughs> shit and shit with the Michael Max tattoo. I ain't gonna do all that. But like, yo, for real, we gotta do better. Like, as a fucking community, we gotta do better first. Change starts with the man in the mirror. Mm-hmm. I've been changing myself for a while. Now, even though I talk my shit and I do my ones and twos, I still have fucking knowledge of self. I have knowledge of our people and I have a fucking expectation and I have fucking, I know what the fuck we could be. We could motherfucking do so much fucking better and that's what the fuck I expect in 2013. If I never look for nothing for 2013 besides my new Mustang, if I don't never look for nothing for 2013, <laughs> It's fucking for our people to do better. And I want to fucking lead that shit. I want to be the fucking spearhead for what the fuck we can do. And like men, the man up and be the fucking men that you can be and take care of these women. Treat them like fucking queens because every fucking woman body, the fucking vagina is a fucking Rubik's Cube. So you, so you. So like, now I mean, so like, you, and his life can come out of there and give so much fucking pleasure. It bleeds for like five days a month. I ain't going to get all deep into the shit, but. So you want to spit, so you want to spearhead the change in 2013? Yeah, look up to me. If you don't have a 2013 figure, if you is over, have, if, it's 2014 now. Nigga, all right, I'm a drinker. All right, nigga. All right, Yo, but, if you don't got a father figure, but look, look up to me. I'm the father figure. And if you don't want me to be your fucking about, daddy, step the fuck up. Be a better man than what the, the fuck thing, I can the be. Thing, not, the thing about it is, I'm I get, it's just like this young, butter, man, just like this young man to the left of me <laughs> said, I get tired of seeing these chicks say, oh, I ain't dealing with no more street niggas after you done had two kids. Well, guess what? He, he, he was just positive about spearheading the change. Of course, you already know, I'm not gonna be the most positive person. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the truthfulness. You can't help but associate with street niggas for the rest of your life because nah, you got nah, 18. No, no, no. Let me finish. No, 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 Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. I know where you're going, I'm gonna disagree. Let me yeah. finish. Regardless of whether you choose to make your next boyfriend a street nigga, you are connected for 18 or more years with a street nigga that you must deal with because you and him unless he's locked up unless he's locked up or unless he chooses and you let him not be in your child's life you are connected with that person for 18 or more years and you're stuck you're stuck there that's, with him hey, yo, and you, another thing that's not stop necess- using your that's fucking not necessarily leverage that's not that's, that's another thing too don't tell a motherfucking person they cannot see their child. I hate that shit, son. But my that, mother, one but of my here, best friends, here, here's, here's his thing. baby moms won't let him see his fucking child unless he come with money. I see. I posted a picture a while ago where the chick was like, the dude lost his job. Mm. 
So she was like, nah, you got to pay fucking $5 a minute or some shit to see your kids. And he was crying because he couldn't come see his kids and some shit. He's like, nah, I need my motherfucking money. Like, yo, your child is not a fucking bank statement. He's not a motherfucking mail ticket. Like, yo, if you decide to have a child with a person, make it because that's who the fuck you want to deal with. Do not knock a chick up if you don't have no intention to make her your wife or dealing with her for the rest of your life. Because it's not for 18 years. It's for the rest of your life. 